Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, Wake Up Bright, where I share all of the things that help me live each day a little brighter. I'm April Lauren and I'm on a journey to lose a lot of weight. This is my first ever video like this. I posted a grocery haul not too long ago. In that haul, I hadn't made a list. It was, I did, bought a lot of impulse things. I bought all these sauces. We haven't even opened, I don't think we've opened one of those sauces yet. And it's been three-ish weeks. I think maybe a little less. Nonetheless, everyone was like, I shop at Aldi, I shop at Aldi. And I'm like, dang, I need to try Aldi out. So yesterday, I asked you guys if you had any like recommendations, because I love Trader Joe's, and I had no idea that Aldi and Trady, Trader Joe's were like semi-related, they're like cousins or something, <laughs> brothers twins separated at birth, something like that. We're gonna find, today's the day. I'm gonna find out today. <laughs> um, but there are things at Trader Joe's that I absolutely love. It's like must have items. So I asked, I asked everybody on YouTube if there's anything, look at Julio and Chippy, they're so cute. Hi, boo boo. I asked you if there's anything that I must have from Aldi and you guys did not did not hold back. My list was so awesome. It's so amazing. Anyway, I took the items that you guys shared and I put on this list, but that's not the whole story. So yesterday, my husband and I went to yoga and after yoga, he drove us straight to Aldi's. He's like, I've been looking at all those comments. I want some dessert hummus. <laughs> they were closed. So I was like, well, you can just be part of my video. So he's getting ready and then we're gonna streamline this list a little bit and go to Aldi. So, let's do it. What I'm doing is hearting five things and then I'm gonna have him heart five things that we for sure wanna get or look for. That way we're not there for five million hours. Oh. Okay, I'm, I'm hearting my fourth thing. What's fifth? My fifth thing. I can't do math. I'll do you, Mike. Math. Alright. I have no idea what these knoppers things are, but I'm totally down to try them. Rolled oats, crossfit steaks, dessert hummus. Ooh, did I write down the brownie hummus separate? That's what I really want. I'm down. It's alcohol sweet tooth lately. I've never had sweet hummus, but whoever the per the person that wrote that said that it was so good. They're like, it sounds weird, but it's amazing. And then everybody like, and their mama wrote dessert hummus. So I'm like, ah. We must. But yesterday he was like, all of the delicious things people were writing, like we need to go try it. Well, I mean, I just want this. I think it was Knoppers. Somebody had a whole post about it. I'm like, I want to try those. That sounds awesome. Cause I like wafers and I like chocolate. Chocolate wafers. I'm not sure if that's the right one. It could be this Bill Tog thing. I don't know what Bill Tog is either. I don't know what Bill Tog is either. So I just wrote it down. I'm like, well, we don't drink alcohol. So if it's alcohol, it's out. But, but we've had everything but the bagel seasoning in Utah. The, um, try the salmon. I like salmon. I like salmon too. So how many more things are gonna hurt? I think just one more. Well, we gotta hope that our, this one even has all of this. It might not, but that's just part of the fun we're gonna have. Cashew crisps. Ooh, I forgot about those. Oh, that sounds good. I'm just. I'm trying to make sure I'm reading it right. Is that raspberries? Yeah, just regular raspberries. Bison. Ooh. I want to change change my rolled oat to bisons. Oh, you don't No, want leave my rolled oats. Take my dessert hummus off. Okay. No dessert hummus, you want to try bison. Yeah. All right, I'll give you some bison. A lot of people said that building a charcuterie board is like, that's like their favorite place to get stuff to do that from. We could build a charcuterie board. Let's see. 
Shakuri. I can't say that word. I tried. Well, I said it weird. It's just shakuri. Shakuri. <laughs> Sounds like a weird way to say Sean Connery. Sean Connery. <laughs> I've got my Sean Connery board. That's what I'm gonna start calling it. There we go. The Sean Connery board. It actually works really well. You know what? Pineapple salsa sounds great. I mean, we got steaks. I don't know what a biltog is, but we're gonna find out and see if we even have them. Smoked salmon. Strawberry pineapple water. Which actually sounds good. Knoppers. Don't know what those are. Gonna find out. Chick thins. It's like chicken chips. I think so. Okay. Well, if it's not, we're gonna find out. Brownie or brownie hummus, bison. Uh, rolled oats and pineapple salsa. All right, the hubs has got a quarter. He got a quarter. I got two. You got two quarters. I got two quarters. We're gonna have our own carts. Oh, probably right not. Probably not. But <laughs> and I we keep got my quarters together. We got two bags. So we got our bags. We almost forgot, and we got two quarters, which the hubs was on top of it. So, didn't have to look for them or anything. He already had them. He had them locked and loaded. Probably last night. Probably last night when he drove us all the way to Aldi. I mean, it's actually really close to our yoga place, but. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm excited. I'm excited to get there. So we have our cart, we have our list, and we are ready for this Aldi experience. I like that it's big enough for two. I am pretty excited. We love, love, love Trader Joe's. I think I've already said that. Um, it was very overwhelming when we first walked in because we weren't used to that. There isn't there is order, but it took us a minute to figure out the order. And then we, like, the things on our list were so all over the place. Found them. He was so excited that he found his knoppers. And those ended up being his favorite thing that, that he found. So there are so many keto things and other, like, diet-centered things. It was so busy. This was probably the busiest grocery store that we have been inside since we've been here, um, which I think it's because the pricing is so good. I'm glad that we now have like these old oats for $2 and I ended up just going ahead and grabbing them. Once I realized that most of the things on our list we were not gonna be able to find, we were so excited about the price of these ribeyes. So we definitely snagged those and I'll talk about this probably more later in the video, but I think that's the only place we're gonna get some, some meats and stuff because the price was just so good and the quality is so much better. And they had so many different dip options, which you guys had prepped me for. This was their deli section and this is their cheese section. I am sharing all of this footage because it was requested um, by people who shop at Aldi and other areas of United States but mostly in like Europe and other places where people shop at Aldi they wanted to see how it's different so I am sharing all of the footage there we did not find any dessert hummus I think we might have went on a day where it was not heavily stocked or they were low on stock of a lot of things because there were a lot of things that just were empty and that might just be the way that all these are here especially this one was in, on one of the is in the busier side of town so there are all these in less busy parts of town so we'll, we will be checking those out um we ended up putting back the 
hummus I grabbed because they had like, they had this one. Yeah, so they had this one with like the four different types. So that's all we got. And then he found these as well. It's like beef jerky, I guess. That's what it is, the bill bone. Oh, well definitely not alcohol. <laughs> like I thought it might be. I don't know why I thought that it might be. That was, I don't know. Anyway, sometimes I'm silly in my head. But this hummus has quite a lot less calories per serving than the hummus we typically buy. So, and then we always just measure it out with a food scale. So we're pretty excited about that. And I like to say, say hello to fresh. <laughs> um, but we really enjoyed our little shopping experience at Aldi. This was probably my favorite find. Well, I keep saying that about things. Um, but I liked that the spring mix was so inexpensive, comparatively speaking, because it is so pricey at Walmart, at Sprouts, at Public. Like, it, I feel like it just gets more expensive each place. It's at least $5 per thing if it's organic and it is a spring mix. Um, so, oh, those raspberries are the best raspberries, the best raspberries. They looked the best. They, they were delicious. My favorite raspberries that I've gotten so far, we did not buy any sauces or anything, but I did like the price point of these sauces and marinades and things. So I just thought that was interesting and something for us to look into for another time. Right now we still have all of that stuff. I bought it sprouts, sprouts. We have, we, I bought it and then we haven't used it. Um, yeah, so they just had so many neat things that I haven't seen in other places, and so I had fun looking. And then I did end up grabbing a few things, like I already said, that were not on the list. Um, I thought that their utensils, like, looked really nice, and, like, they were so inexpensive but high quality. And then I had already grabbed another watermelon water. It wasn't the water that was on the list. It was, like, watermelon pineapple, which sounded so delicious. Um, but I did a sparkling pineapple water. I have not... And then we did buy a few treat items. I bought the frozen bananas that are dipped and they're so good. And they did have shopping bags that you could purchase there. So I just purchased one bag because we had brought our own bags. What you got? Junk food. What kind of junk food? Something called the knoppers. Yeah? yeah. Are you excited to try them? How many calories does that have? A lot. A lot? For like that one little pack? Yep. Are you just saying that so I don't eat them? No, it's literally the truth. $140 for that. Alright, what you got? Something called Biltong. Well, it looks like jerky of some kind. And it is time for the Aldi haul portion of this little video. I am just emptying my bag here. I do want to preface this by saying this is not the healthiest grocery haul. It's not our typical grocery haul. This is a subscriber recommended haul. That is what we got is the things that were recommended, plus a few extras like the bananas. I don't think anyone actually recommended those, but that also arguably is not the worst type of treat that you could have. So let's go ahead and dive into each individual thing that we got so individual things that we got were this grass-fed ribeye steak which is one of the best finds it was only 12 bucks um, typically we pay a lot more than that when we've been buying it at Sprouts, so we are very excited about this find. We are going to try these skinny green beans. Everyone, they came highly recommended by several people. We're pretty excited about that. And then these, the hubs grabbed, um, they are the mini ice cream cookie sandwiches. So we grabbed those. And then we also grabbed the 
bananas, which I think I'll, yep, here they are. So these milk chocolate banana babies, um, they are 130 calories and I thought they would be a good occasional treat. The hubs picked these Chipotle salmon burgers up. I think that this one was recommended. So we were pretty excited about seeing that. This is what the hubs was doing while I was doing my haul. <laughs> Just this is why I'm not like telling you he really needed to catch up on Rick and Morty. So I let him do that. And these are the raspberries. Their raspberries were phenomenal. These are so good. Um, and they kept like they didn't immediately expire. So it's been a few days since we bought this stuff and now that I'm doing the voiceover. And their berries kept beautifully. They are so fresh. I definitely think I'll be buying most of our produce from there going forward. And the spring mix, again, such an inexpensive option compared to what it usually is. I mean, occasionally at stores you'll find like two for five and that would be a better deal, but it's pretty rare. Then we got this Parmesan and we got the Brie, which I had just shown. And then we got this, the four different, this one sampler of the four different hummuses that they had. They did not have any dessert hummuses or anything. So we were looking forward to that. That's why we ended up getting the bananas and then my husband got the cookies because we wanted dessert hummus. We were like in the mood to like have like a tiny splurge and then we couldn't. So we got this feta dip, which looks and sounds pretty darn good. And then now I'm just gonna go ahead and unbox the second box. We are so grateful that you guys recommended so many awesome things. I, we would have had no idea what to get, but it was it was exciting and we had fun having our little list. Obviously we got more than 10 items. We definitely did. I did go ahead and get the rolled oats. I think I've already told you guys that. We were only two bucks. Um, then we got the doggies some treats, some super skinny jerky. They really liked this. Well, Julio liked it better than Chipper. Chipper is a little bit of a treat snob. Um, then I got some chia seeds. We were just out and I keep meaning to buy some and there they are. So I just grabbed them. This is the, so somebody had recommended like a watermelon pineapple thing. This is what I got in place of that. I didn't look at the macros too well. And so I, this will be a sparingly thing. There's not that much fiber, it's mostly sugar. So the Olipop and stuff that I drink occasionally has a lot of carbs too, but instead of having two fiber and 12 sugar, that's reversed. It has like 12 fiber and like two sugar. I mean, it might be more than two sugar, but these are the utensils I got. They were such a good quality. I'm like, ooh, what is this, Aldi or William Sonoma? So I'm pretty excited about my new utensils. <laughs> and then they, these are funny. So when my husband and I, looked at this house we saw that it had a wine fridge well we don't drink and I was like well we can just put like our water bottles in there and he's like or we can get fancy beverages to put in there and so I saw these at Aldi and we probably they'll probably just sit in our refrigerator for a ridiculously long time until we have company or something but I got them for our fridge so they meet my husband's requirement for that fridge like he felt very in that it was a he had strong opinions about what we put inside of this little wine fridge so that is them ignore all of our trash in the background <laughs> um let's see these are his knoppers and he loves them i did have one of them and they are so good and he ate the rest and then same with these i ate a bag of this and then he ate the other two bags and this i prefer this to jerky like it's basically the same thing but i prefer this it's different enough for me to to know there's a difference and to prefer this so we will definitely be getting that some more i got some popcorn we've been enjoying popcorn a lot lately i usually just pop it but i don't know if i just got hungry the longer we were in the store but i just grabbed it thank you again so much for all of these amazing recommendations we are so excited to look at other aldi's and see if we can find our original tin and all of the other things like the tiki masala um the brownie hummus there were so many awesome things that were recommended to us that we're excited to find so thank you for being so open and sharing all of y'all's recommendations total we spent more than i thought we were going to um we spent 103 dollars but like just looking there, the jerky that we got was like four bucks each. So 
it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this version of subscriber must have Aldi purchases. <laughs> um, we couldn't find quite a few of them, but there are a few Aldis in the area. I think there's three. So we will make the rounds and there's a few things like I think I'll always buy at Aldi's. The spring mix, I will never buy that at Walmart and I will never buy that at Sprouts again. It's $5 a thing at both places, only like three fifty dollars or something for that. And we go through one of those every few days. So I will never buy that anywhere, but I, sh I shouldn't be so like firm. If possible, I will not be buying that anywhere but Aldi. Um, same thing for the grass-fed, um, free-range ribeye meat. Like that, my husband and I, we when we buy that stuff from Sprouts, we half it. So we get one piece, we'll cut into two, which is equivalently about the same um, size as the individual wrapped ones. So it's about half a pound, so about eight ounces. Um, <laughs> $40 for two, two dinners is quite a bit. Um, $24 is unbelievably inexpensive. Yeah, because I, yeah, it's a lot less expensive. That makes me really happy. Those two things were probably what I was most excited about. My husband was most excited about the treats he's never, and that's about it. I've gotta go to yoga. So I will see you guys next time. If you're liking these grocery hauls, comment down below, let me know. This is not a typical grocery haul. Let me throw that out there again. Not a typical grocery haul. It is not all food for me. <laughs> and yeah, but it's not anything, we did not buy anything that I cannot have. So anyway, <sighs> I love you guys and I will see you later. I hope you had a good weekend. I hope you're gonna have a great week and I will see you on Tuesday for the podcast, should you want to watch or listen. <laughs> Love you, bye.